Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and one of the oldest mods I was using is gone. The whole thing just went poof and disappeared. Uh, it was the tiered solar panels. Maybe some of you used them too. And uh, I, I don't know what happened. It's just the whole mod is gone. The, the, I'm pretty sure there is replacements for it. We will not get them. Um, I'm... <laughs> I'm, I think it would be bad to add another mod that then might vanish at one point. I'm, it's, it's a weird thing where, where more and more of the mods I'm using are just disappearing because I'm, uh, I'm not using them anymore. That's why I'm right now traveling around in the world and I'm just uh, replacing things to get uh, bases up and running again and to get everything uh, in in line again I failed a bit with the with the autonomous drone that was uh, hauling uranium off of object 85 uh, that thing I completely need to revise that I wanted to work more on this uh, but the drone is giving me a hard time. Uh, after I changed everything and it worked, we, we took a look at that. It stops working every time I lock out, kind of. So maybe the whole precision aspect in there, that precision flying is maybe not a thing that I should do with these drones. Um, especially on the station, the drone bugs out and just doesn't dock anymore. And now that I wanted to bring it back and uh, bring it back into position, it just stopped working on that part too. So it could be that it is an issue with the drone not keeping uh, its memory or something like that. I don't know. I, I, we need to do something different there. And I don't know, maybe at one point this whole Space Engineers AI thing comes out and we maybe don't need, we don't need that stuff anyways anymore because the drones will just magically work and be, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I might test out... I might test out Sam and try to automate this. Um, I'm not sure if how that will work. Um, Sam, I always use Sam basically j just as an autopilot to press button fly there. And now I would have to automate the whole thing and uh, tell a timer to tick or I know that Sam has some options where it can, it can, yeah, kind of start a timer and then work work that out. I'm 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 not sure if if it's even worth it. Uh, uh, I'm. The, the thing is that the, the uranium haul is very good and I have a hauler now. I have made a big ship that can fly like the other haulers I have, can be automatically uh, flown to where I am and then uh, reload uranium and I have one for hydrogen. I have another one for ice and uranium. So... We can do that now, but I also need to update my com my comms channels because the hauler cannot connect because the power usage is too high for for that thing. So I need it. It needs a lot more work than than just than just that. It it would. I added the planets. I, I did the, the wrong thing. Having huge distances in between the stuff is problematic. Um, I, I need to maybe revise 
a lot of the stuff. I kind of... The, the newest idea that I have is have short distance haulers to stations like uh, the asteroid base or the station around Mars and then go and fly in stuff from shorter distances. So find ice and uranium asteroids everywhere and then bring that in with, yeah, with SAM drones then. I'm, I had PEM in mind, but PEM, again, PEM is not working as, as I as I would like that. Good. The solar panels hopefully are, uh, are, blah, 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 are replaced. I need to go around and fix more of them. Uh, I think next is Mars. We take a look if Mars has problems and maybe we deliver the rover to the surface so that we don't carry that with us anymore. And then we go around. Uh, around Object 85, I didn't have problems because the whole base relied on uh, normal solar panels. That's a good thing. So when when the mod just went away, uh, all the 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 vanilla solar panels just stayed. That's that's a good thing. Uh, otherwise, the the whole world would be messed up again, like crazy. But uh, here we we had the the good effect that uh, at least they stayed good. Let us take a bit of a distance to the base. The new assertives, by the way, that's just an information for you. The assertive combat system or the assertive something. That stuff is it's. Man, I'm, they, they attack, there is some drones flying in, it's, they are not too, too nasty, at least in space, uh, but they are there, so I, I, I needed to be on the, on the lookout for that. I'm, I have fun with a bit of, the, the bit of fighting that they provide. Um, I had a, an attack where kind of, there was a drone, like like the the standard. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the standard, um, the the standard encounter. There was a station sitting close by, close by to the 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 asteroid base, and was sending drones. And I needed to take that out and took out my small. Uh, expense ask ship and just uh, fought it. Had had fun with it. Sorry for not recording it. It was kind of uh, a quick thing to do. So Mars arrival, I think, is the thing. Mars arrival. We select this and we jump there. Yes, please. Still have the 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 other the other jump thing going on there. I'm I I don't know. I'm I'm not sure about it. it, it, it the effect is effect is gone, and then we jump. So this ship, with by the way, it ang it, it being converted to a station whenever we arrive somewhere. It saves up on so much uh, performance when it comes to the PC. But again, I also threw out other mods that that went bye bye, or that I I said I don't need you anymore. Uh, I'm not drilling, so the the bossing say tools are gone. The I threw out. I'm I'm trying to throw out most of the thruster mods or. The, the the overpowered crazy thruster mods that I have that will be another thing that I need to do here is go and there go and th go there and um, anchor the the drill I've sitting there um, that is powered by the gravitic manipulators and I 
I can get rid of them now because the ship that needed them the most uh, is is a station now. So the the carry all on Dune relied on that, and that needs to change. So three up, go around the ship, and then let us take a look how bad it looks here with. Uh, with it. The, the the big problem will be the the legacy version of the impulse thrusters or the pulse thrusters, the ones I'm using here. I need to think hard about this if I want to keep them or if I want to replace them with something. See all the all the solar panels here are gone too. Now the question do I by the way do I have that turned on? Um, I need to replace, replace them and hope that I have parts here. I might not have parts here, so uh, maybe I need to bring in the Empress. Can do that. So, yeah, everything here will be underpowered now. That's... A bit problematic so I can I should think about the whole uranium thing a lot because if I can get uranium to power the world I wouldn't heavily rely on solar panels um, on the other hand I like my solar farms so a balance needs to needs to be struck here so Okay, I don't have the pirates. I need the, the the Empress here. I will bring that ship in. That might take a moment. So um, I'm back in a sec. I go and talk about the Assertus not being too crazy and being nice to fight because it's... And then uh, they immediately do that. Blow a hole into my big ship. Blow clean through this ship that I, I don't know if I can repair. Maybe I remove it or whatsoever. And blow even more holes into... Oh, no. Oh, I know what they, what they went for. Uh, yeah, need to... Need to repair this. We'll do this in due time so i locked the ship down it is still or it is a, a station again but it's locked to this station this is already repaired that's good we lost the gravitic manipulators so i saw this one is locked down but i think i can remove it because it is anyway not usable anymore because there was the yeah, the drill and fill system on there. So I think I can just remove the whole thing. Uh, the more I clean up, the better. Good. Now, uh, this thing will go down to the planet, but I think I will first do some repairs here. I was not prepared for this. I wanted to do the next stop and see what needs repairing there. Good. Um, let us block that back in. This needs blocks to... At least they didn't uh, completely chew through, um, for example, the shields here or the, the, the hangar fields. That's a good thing. And I don't know why they picked... Why they pick this one? It could be because one thing I lost that I thought I might still have is the remote control. Maybe they went for that. But why blow through the whole thing here? It's just not nice. Good. I need to do some repairs with some uh, conveyors 
That is done. Blocks back in. I will do some spray painting later once I have closed the holes. It is not nice because all these cavities were filled with oxygen and now they are not and I think I don't have ice anymore. <coughs> I'm sorry, I was sick the whole last week. Some of you might have noticed because I didn't stream last week. And uh, yeah, I... Um, <laughs> it's so crazy that... Uh, I kind of... You kind of forget that next to the big thing that makes you sick at the moment... Um, there's so much more that can just take you completely out. And I had a, a, a flu something. <clears throat> I thought now my time has come to get to get COVID, but I, I didn't. And uh, I'm happy about this. Uh, my medical history says that getting COVID is not a good idea for me and so I'm I'm happy that again it just I skirted around it so but I had yeah flu symptoms and all that stuff was really really sick lost voice had an ear infection because of me blowing my nose too much it's just awful but i'm it's it's getting better i'm now in the stage where it basically is this whole um this whole not <laughs> not <laughs> not getting rid of all the things that um that I, I I can't the, the all the sticky slimy things that sit in your in your nose and in your <laughs> in your sinuses and all that so it's just uh it's not nice good catwalk I'm huh, I I'm interested why the shields were not on. I have to take a look at that. Because uh, I'm pretty sure these guys wouldn't have blown through the hull as much if the shields were on. But for some reason they were turned off. It, it could be because there's so much stuff riding piggyback right now. That's a thing that definitely needs to be changed i think again the, the the idea was to take the duchessa and make it into the get around ship and now i'm piggybacking the duchessa here hmm good that is repaired now coloring that back in uh, i need a space that i can okay shift p Oh no, shift B. And then just at least color the outside back in. Good. And then maybe the deck plates. I... I'm thinking about... No, okay, that was... They were set to the standard color, but why? Uh, it's this whole mess with the colors again. Do I have a blueprint of this thing? No, wrong. Is it? Do I have a blueprint of that thing? I have so many blueprints that I am sure haven't named and are not done right uh, that's my fighter that's sitting on the outside and wasn't attacked 
more of these fighter things small grid whatever not the right thing more fighter i have all the fighter things uh, all the duchesses cranes out of the zoo no i don't even have a blueprint of this thing so we will uh, i i like these ships but i haven't flown this one in a in a long time so we will go and mark it and maybe rebuild it at one point because it has the the other thrusters that i might want to get rid of so the question could be do we remove yeah we will remove this and then we might ugh, they're still out there. So the, the assertives get aggressive as soon as they come, I think, into two kilometer range. And then they call in, they even call in uh, a reinforcements. It's not really nice, but on the other hand, it was really fun. The ship opened up, and uh, but they, they had rockets. So for some reason, my rocket, see, unidentified craft spotted. So they have seen me proceed with caution. So I hope that they just fly by. My uh, rocket defense kind of didn't do what it is supposed to do. So I will have to take a look if I have some of these guns set up to just defend the ship from missiles, rockets, missiles, whatever. Uh, good. Now... Yeah, the, the, this ship is kind of the problem now. I could keep the thrusters in, but this is at the moment the, the ship that I mainly use to get around. So losing the thrusters on here would be bad. Uh, I could replace some of the of the containers with maybe hydrogen. And then go in and replace the thrusters with hydrogen thrusters. But the big problem is that I don't have any real connections in here that I could use for that. Hmm. What to do about this? I will keep these thrusters in for now. Let's let's do it. Let's do it that way. Keep this thing, these thrusters in for now, and not be too picky about it. But I will also remove this ship. Uh, it's not in the way, but again, it doesn't do. It isn't doing what it is supposed to do, anyways, anymore. So I can reuse the materials. So this is the drill. This one will stay. Uh, it is the vanilla drill that I've built. And it's not usable at the moment, but it will stay in the world. Good. This ship can stay here. What I could do, and I think is also go and make this into a station because at the moment it is just connected and we could go and make this into a station too so that we can uh, save up on the Ugh. Yeah, thank you. I'm running a, an airlock script. So, uh, as much... Oh. Okay, Who? I... What was that? It was just nanites flying by. Good. So, this works out. Now we can bring the... 
yeah, we immediately need to take the ship and bring it, use it to, you're on the way out, good, uh, use it to bring the rover down. I need to take a look at the surface and see if, mm, how the solar panels are there. And then I think we can end the episode for today because... Uh, again, it, it will now be more searching for broken stuff. And then we might uh, sit down again and find a solution for the energy problems that I I'm kind of making up. Let's let's be let's be true. I'm I'm making up the energy problems. I want to solve a problem that every player usually would have so have having problems with supporting his fleet with hydrogen and uh, auto lock off i want to switch the lock why is that not possible i will just cancel you Uh, so the, the 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 thing would be we we are finding a solution for our problem of not having enough hydrogen and usually and not having enough uh, uranium. So if we want to support a fleet and all that stuff, we need points where we can restock everything. Uh, these should be central points in the individual systems. So uh, Mars has not a hydrogen problem or maybe an ice problem. We, we are mostly producing hydrogen on Europa, but we, we need to supply all these things to, to our ships. And if we could do that automatically, that would be perfect. So I'm kind of thinking about how to solve this. I, I never had the problem. It's it's a problem that is kind of non-existent in space engineers. If you are running mods or even if you don't run mods, go out and find all the stuff. But I kind of want to have a solution for that, uh, for a non-existing problem. So we will tinker around with autopilots or with Sam or with, with whatsoever. Good. Let me land, uh, take a look around, uh, and then we go back to space. Maybe we stay a bit down there. I, I'm not sure, but I need to first deliver this rover while we are here. Good. Let's set this down. And then we anchor it again. It's just... This is just a delivery. Okay, but the solar panels are still here. That's a good thing. On the two cruisers, there's solar panels too. So the thing now is, ah, we go and put it down here. I think, ugh, I'm having this weight underneath us is just not nice. Oh, I should, oh, I know what I should do. Something very important. Even if it's the weak version, it's not nice. Good. Three unlocked. Now we lock this down. We can just land the ship here for a moment. Ah, oh, Mars. I like Mars. It's just Mars is just the best. Um, uh, maybe go and change the color. G. We need to do something with this. I, I can't just leave that. I've, I've worked on the server here and everywhere now with this, with this thing. I want to do something with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure why, but... Before I decide to scrap it, I will at least bring it to the rover planet and then we will we will see what, what can be done here. Good. Solar panels here are still there. 
This thing doesn't need solar panels. This thing doesn't need solar panels too. What's missing here? There's nothing missing. That was batteries I had in there. Um, these solar panels are still here, but here it wouldn't have been too much of a problem because I have all the wind power here. Solar panels here, I think I removed them, so uh, this one doesn't have them anyways. Good. Any damages? No. Good. That means we can go back to space and think about solving the the drone problem and all that stuff okay this is all here oh no all the wheels popped and i can't really tell why why do the tank wheels do that here too good doesn't matter good people I say that's all for today we delivered the rover we hopefully did on the most planners the stuff with the solar panels uh, looked around uh, again there might be on uh, around dune problems I will solve that too and then we will see what we need to do to solve the energy thing again i want this automatic transport of things i want to have that I, I that's something that i need 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 to have that i can build a mine somewhere and grab the materials from there and then just automatically bring that back to a central point and then don't know think about shipping stuff back and forth whatsoever but that's kind of the plan I, I i i can't leave that it's it's not negotiable good but people i say thanks for watching hope you liked this episode if you did please leave a like on the video and i hope to see you in the next one see ya guys